Old breaker. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Let's see if this pulley's gonna come off. All right, so Joseph has been working on my dad's 50 Fleetline Deluxe, and it is just coming out fantastic. Basically, we started out with a bone stock 1950 Fleetline Deluxe, and my dad's just a huge fan of the sled, so what better to choose than a 1950 Fleetline Deluxe? I'm gonna get you started here, I'm gonna show you around. So he's basically completely cut all of the original styling out from the 50 and incorporated this hand fabricated piece, all rolled with Bailey equipment, um, Bailey Industrial, um, just fantastic tooling and machines and it's been great. But um, anyways, back to the car. You can see the front diffuser there. He's basically got the air to come straight in here, boom, right into the radiator. Come around to the headlights. Joseph has installed these Hagen French in headlights. So basically, he's had to cut and pie some pieces going around the corners and just recess this dude back in there. So um, there's a little quick little clamp that goes on here. Basically just tapers in and allows the headlight to sit in there. All right, so now we're gonna walk around the car and I'm just gonna give you a, a quick glimpse of what all we've had to do with chopping the top and raking the roof and getting everything dialed back in. So come around the edge of the door. We've basically fabricated the entire door skin just because the original doors were just so rough. There wasn't really much saving them. So Joseph English wheeled and planishing hammered all the edges and got everything where it was dialed in. Um, TIG welded all the way across the top. Of course, we shaved the door handles. We raked this B-pillar all the way forward just to give it a more just awesome look. Originally, it came straight up and down right here and it just it didn't fit the appearance of what we were going for of course the back window we've raked all this down got it cut across the roof still got a finishing hammer this is just rough weld finishing it out so there's a couple different ways you can chop these roofs and we chose basically to cut into the quarter and of course you got to cut and pie these to get that to seat down inside there so you can see most all that's tick welded on both sides we will finish punishing hammer that out and get it smooth as we get ready to fabricate to put these tail lights in so this is actually a packard tail light it used to have a ginormous <laughs> reverse light up underneath it so we cut that off because obviously we're not gonna run the reverse light originally we had this thing sitting way out here on the bottom but we just think it might be too low low is good but literally it is on the ground, so I don't think that's going to work. 50 Fleetline Deluxe, Charlie's dad, special project. Joseph's basically made half the panels on this car. He, he's just pulled them out of the abyss. Where do you keep your abyss, Joseph? Well, somewhat in my brain and then the rest in my hands. So can you point to anything in this shot that is original Chevy? Fender, and then from here back. So this whole front end of the hood isn't even original. You want to talk about how you did that, what we're about to see? So we wanted to incorporate the factory appearance, but also make it match the contour of the 56 Caddy bumper. Pretty much just made a cardboard template, half of it, molded everything out of one piece of sheet metal, stretched it on the sides here, stretched it up here, did a little bit of shrinking here and here just to get the contour right, finished it out on the planishing hammer, TIG welded it up on there. And that's just on the front end. Back here we have the Packard tail light mounted in. Had to make from here down up through here. All the way back, so you can see where Joseph just sliced in, cut down, made this whole panel. You wanna pop the hood? Show us what else you've been doing. Firewall was completely cut out. For the motor, we were gonna redo a firewall on it anyways. So that is why we went with a custom firewall on here. Well, of course, you can't have a car that's this crazy and not have a shaved, B-rolled Joseph's Abyss special firewall. So. Of course, this is a little bit different style video because Joseph hasn't had his own designated GoPro the entire time, but for the rest of the video, Cody is gonna be walking you through how he installs this radiator and made an entire fan shroud for it. He also installs this entire Holly Serpentine Drive uh, mid-mount kit. Just a really good walkthrough with Cody. Just explaining why the first half of this video is a little different because we have limited GoPros. We have more people than GoPros and they're all doing stuff. They're all doing stuff more than we can capture it. Look, Mike's over there, he's building a 57. We wish we had a GoPro for Mike. We're doing our best here. Now let's go watch Cody make her fan shroud. Okay, guys. Time to go. 
do the old switcheroo. I gotta get the motor level. That looks right. Okay, here's under the hood of this thing. Pretty sweet little setup. Joseph has killed it on this car, doing some killer metal work. Uh, so I'm gonna come in and really take all that and get rid of it. We're gonna replace it with all that. And I'm gonna show you guys just exactly how I do it. Once I get all that done, that'll tell me my clearances on where I need to put my radiator and we're gonna do that too. All right, we got some goodies. Let's see what it is. Ooh. Whoa, that's shiny. Uh, AC compressor, boom. Boom, and there it is. All right, here we go. I don't know what I'm doing here. Old breaker. Breaker, breaker, one, nine. Let's see if this pulley's gonna come off. Here we go. We're just we're just gonna go one turn at a time. Nice and slow, I don't wanna mess anything up. Oh, no, I think we're bending the push rod. <laughs> well, what we have here is a catastrophic failure. All right, take two. Oh, it's working, guys. All right, guys. We have officially pulled this harmonic balancer. Yeah. But now I'm gonna unbox all this, see what I got. We have a chrome water pump. That is not gonna be chrome. Uh, we're just, this is a mock-up. Once it's all said and done, that will be scuffed and painted. Just cause you see a chrome water pump don't mean it's always gonna be chrome. We need to see where all this is gonna be so we can do our radiator. As my good buddy Logan would say, outstanding developments here. Outstanding developments here. Anyways, we just installed this water pump. This thing looks sweet. But Holly, thanks for the kit. Kit's great. All right, guys, we got this awesome Griffin radiator here. This thing is sweet. Although it's a really nice radiator, it doesn't come any way to mount it. So that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna make some custom brackets for this thing. Gonna make it out of aluminum and then I'll take weld those things off. Get it mounted just right. But first, we have to build a fan shroud. We have a big old fan here. Really nice. And we're gonna get that mounted on here. So in order to do that, I have to build a aluminum fan shroud. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Yeah, we'll get this fan mounted. Can you help me eyeball some Logan messing me up over here. It's okay, I always love helping my buddy Logan. It's like one of my favorite people in the world. I hope you hear this, Mr. Logan, and I hope you smile just because you're so great at this editing stuff. But maybe you'll skip past it, but maybe you'll hear it. You're great. All right, so I officially cut out my circle. There's that hole. And I'm gonna take what it all up. I got my Griffin radiator here. I got my shroud all made. Started it last week. I've got it finished this morning. We made our shroud fit nice and tight there. Get that maximum airflow. Maximum effort. I think this shroud's gonna work great. Got the fan mounted, everything's ready to go. So I'm gonna get this radiator mounted up in here. We're gonna have to do a little bit of modifications. Most likely gonna have to cut this here plate here out to be able to sink the radiator back a little bit just to give us a little extra room for our intake here. So I'm gonna start mounting up this radiator and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, much fun. That is temporarily done. Okay, so y'all just seen me put this serpentine setup on. Uh, got my radiator in. Now, kind of finished up with this. We're gonna let you guys pick on next week's video, whether you wanna see the mini tubs in the Camaro, wherever it's hiding in the booth, or if you wanna see a Rover episode, you guys get to pick. Rover three, Rover three. Uh, Camaro, Camaro. Rover three. Camaro all day. I haven't made, we haven't made a Rover episode in months. Cause no one wants to see it. Ooh, alert. We are touring with our 1968 Pro Touring Roadrunner this year. Catch us at World of Wheels in Birmingham, Alabama, February 4th through the fifth. We're showing our 1968 Roadrunner. It's under this tarp. Come out, come meet us. We'll be touring all year. Be sure to check our Instagram linked in the description for our show schedule. Please subscribe, like, comment. Let us know what you'd like to see more of. Like Cody mentioned, our Instagram story will be featuring a poll where you can choose to see Land Rover episode three or start the Speed Tech Camaro series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next week.